Gaziantep is one of the oldest cities in the world. All the way from the Silk Road trade route to date, it has grown to become a very important center for culture, for knowledge, heritage, and so much more. It houses museums, archaeological sites, but we are here today for the 2022 International Gaziantep Gastronomy Festival. What do you have for me? Oh man, I uh -oh. thought it was food. <laughs> wow. So, you can learn a lot from what people eat, but you can also learn so much from how they eat and the culture and the festivals they create around their food, like that. Kimi ve e, literatürün yazılması, İngilizce literatürün yazılması çok önemli çünkü dünyada sizi literatür bir yere getiriyor. We find a lot of food remains in the archaeological sites, so we can learn about the history of, for example, wheat, pistachios, all kinds of, you know, interesting ingredients that still are existent in the Gaziantep cuisine. I think Gaziantep cuisine has a lot to offer to the world cuisines. I think I'm gonna have some sarma. Okay. Yeah. My portion. Yes. Yes, okay. please. This is sarma. Sarma is made from uh, leaves, pickled leaves of grapes, and inside we have rice that has been spiced. And I'm gonna have five of them. I understand you're in chef heaven. <laughs> <laughs> I am in chef heaven. Yes. All the produce, like we went to the bazaar, we we went on a lot of tours to look at like the pistachio, like chilies, like. It's, there's so much stuff here. I got a lot of inspiration. And now I'm about to test <laughs> what you were doing on stage. Perfect, you were perfect. great on stage, Thank and you. I'm sure this has to be yeah. awesome. Wow. Thank you. Wow, Thank amalgamation you. of tastes. Perfect. It's perfect. hitting all my, my test buds. Yeah, perfect. Right <laughs> and it's, it's super inspired by here. Yeah, like, this is so yeah, cool. Yeah. So, what do you tell the world about Gaziantep? I think it's a beautiful food capital, and we're super happy to be here. For sure, tradition. Uh, in a very positive way of like sticking to how your ancestors used, used to cook, to it, right? and I think that's that's a really important point in the world of trying to digitalize everything and trying yeah. to uh, to modernize everything and optimize everything. Then sometimes you just need to take the time it takes to cook uh, a decent meal, and it seems like tradition is one of the things to to to hold on to some of those things. This is the fourth time Gaziantep is hosting a gastronomy festival. In attendance are Michelin-starred chefs from around the world, writers, academics, gastronomy students and food enthusiasts. Competitions to make the best dishes are held and there are workshops by gourmet chefs, panels involving people from different fields, DJ performances and so much more. One thing that caught my interest is a cafe built from waste. Welcome to Dongyu Cafe which translates to Cycle Cafe. Everything you see in here has been made from recycled material, from glass bottles which have been recycled to be used as the walls or ornaments on the wall, bottle tops used to make the gypsy girl mosaic. Waste glass crashed into pieces is used to make the floor, which is actually inspired by a traditional Gaziantep practice that made use of stones instead of glass. Wood that would otherwise be burned and scrap metal from industrial CNC processing is collected and used as ornaments on the walls and ceiling. Every possible waste material is effectively recycled and the end result is a very unique space with a very distinctive atmosphere. My name is Ekin Güven and I'm the architect, one of the architects of this place. This is a manifestation and declaration and a statement that we are trying to give against Consumption madness. It might be a little bit radical, but like I try to get the minds back to the sustainable way. 
Together with the Michelin starred restaurant chefs, I got a tour of the cafe where we were served a meal that fit the sustainability theme. We were treated to a delicacy made from breadcrumbs that would either be thrown away or food that was insufficient to make a meal. Bugünkü menümüzden bahsetmek istiyorum. Evde yapılan en kıymetli yiyeceklerimizden daha doğrusu konsepte yakın bir yemek seçmek istedik. The mix included breadcrumbs from traditional bread, tomato paste, small pieces of cheese, tomatoes, parsley, and a selection of vegetables. When combined, you get this delicious delicacy. What do we have here today? And here, what can I have? Yeah, you can have all. We have uh, bulgur rice. Yes. We have dorama. Yeah. Uh, these two are traditional wedding food. Yeah. This one, everything you make, you can make it prepared prehand. And you can literally serve it so fresh in and out. You can say it like a traditional fast food, even though it doesn't look like. But yeah, yeah it doesn't look like. Yeah, so, but uh, but I want some of it. Yes, this is dolma, summer dolma made out of from fresh vegetables, mm -hmm. and that's ishli köfte. Let's have something to eat right now. Yes. It's actually very nice. Oh, this is good. Look at all these people. Look at this awesome festive mood. The one thing I will not be able to do is to describe each and every cuisine. There's just so much. I'm not going to be able to do that. But right now, it's time to have some kebab. Can I have one portion of kebab? It has been a very exciting day for me. I've had a very wonderful experience. I've had cuisines that have recipes that come from hundreds of years ago. And now that I've filled my stomach with not just food, but culture and heritage, I'm going to have my last meal and get the necessary energy to go to the concert and fill my ear with music. If you want to have a nice meal, you know the city to go to. Gaziantep is your place to be at.